Hello there buddy and I'm back with another toy review. Um today I'm gonna be taking a look at another Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom um toy or action figure, I don't know. So today I'm gonna be taking a look at the stem Velociraptor. Now let's just put on the toy on the table. And there, and there is the stem. Now, first up, I'm gonna start off with the usual accessories. It comes with a like support base thingy, just in case the um, some joints may not work, which, or maybe it just doesn't wanna support itself, which that's a reason why I keep using that support stand on the display. Um, now, here's an issue. I lost one of the accessories, one of them, so it's kind of a bummer, but eh, it's okay. Um, so, anywho, the way that you use the support stand is that, well, let me just attach this figure. Now, right out the package. The joints are very, very okay, but some joints doesn't really want to attach in that correctly. Let's say like the waist joint here. It will sometimes if you sort of try and twist and turn it. And eventually you will, but the leg here, it, this is the main complaint. I, I need to take off the body first and then I have to attach the leg. Now, attaching it is easy, but here's an issue. There is a hinge here, which on this leg makes it look like this. On this case, the hinge doesn't want to work. So, in that case, it's sort of doing, a, let's say, 45 degrees split. Okay, okay. Now, the support stand do sort of help, like the leg posing a little bit less weirder, but it's still kind of weird. Yeah, and it's also very loose. So, anywho, continuing on with that display stand included in, it still feels like something is wrong about this toy on my... Now, attaching the leg would have a great amount, but meh. Attaching the leg in the support stand would be an amount of help, but it still doesn't really help too, too much. Especially if that joint is stuck and it's about to do a split. Now, easier, I found it doing just, well, like this. Doing that, trying to attach it, and sort of, sort of doing like that. So pretty much, I can do this like that. I find it much more posing and better than it. Now, now I'm gonna go over through the other accessories. You think I'm about to say articulation, right? For those who, yes. So now, it does come with this um backdrop thingy. I don't know. Maybe like, uh, maybe for another support stand. Maybe the support like stock joints if you have some. Right? Wrong. Well, it comes with a call here. Now, at the front, it's just, now sorry, at the back, at first I don't want to spoil up everything. It does show you an action feature, which we will talk about in the next accessory. Or sort of in the next accessory, I'll talk about that later. Now, all you need to do is that you need to make the stand up. And then you sort of need to attach the cord right in the heel. Now, there are no stickers, so if you want to remove it anytime you want, you could do that. So, thank God you could remove it. Now, 
if you want to imagine it, you can. How you imagine it? All you need to do is take your laptop, open up the drawer a little bit, and scan it like this if you so choose. Or you could just place it in the stand like this, I guess. That'll still work. Now, the next accessory comes with... Now, here's an issue. Um, I lost that part of the accessory. Now, it comes with the um, little DNA holder, which I'll talk about the DNA later. Now, I lost the DNA and I was forced to choose something that looked like the DNA holder. Now, the way that you do is that there is like a DNA... Hey, here, it's meant to pop in, but I lost it and I have to use a smaller one for this review. Now, this doesn't really work. It's just an extra piece I want to include to make up the lost accessory. Now, it does come with the DNA. Now, at the back, there's sort of a slashing action. What does this mean? Well, the Velociraptor sort of has like a slashing feature, but not in this piece. Now, the way that you who like do it is that it is fell apart and you need to build it like let's say like a lego or a puzzle now the way that the arms is that you could omit two positions this here is a removable part here this part here all you need to do is just push here sort of and when you get it out you'll find that this is also a separate piece and not connected into the body like it's like these little skeleton script thingy now the way that you work is that you need to pop off the arms and then um like sort of attach it on this dna thingy now let me see if i could find that correct arm that is loose is it like this one no i'm pretty sure it's the other one now, the way that you do is that you take the skeleton arm, put it here, if you want it, um, I suggest don't, um, just use this one because it's much more accurate. Now, the way that you do it is that you just need to pop it in. Now, popping it to this here is kind of easy, but... Dang. Now, let's just try it with this one. All you need to do is, again, assemble it. If I can. Still kind of tricky, though. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of a break so to attach the arm, so be right back. Now, I got it back in here, and I'm not just going to pop off this arm because the other arm is so pain to get in here. Now, the way that you do the action feature is that, like you see, you remove the arms from this piece of skeleton. And then what you do is that you click back. Um, hang on a second. You click back like this, and then you push this little button right here. It's meant to be like an action feature. Oh, there we go. Now, I got it upside down, so I think I'm going to be right back again. Oh, here we go. That's why it's so hard. Now, the way that you do is that you click it back like that. Hang on a second. And then you push the button again. Bam! Slashing action. Now, you could pop off both arms and attach it in these but the other arm is hard to pop it in so i'm not gonna try attaching that arm in unless if i'm really really forced to and now i'm just doing a video and i'm just gonna show you how you do it okay okay now the way that you store the dna thing again is that all you need to do is that you place the dna in here but because i lost it again i have to use a small one so meh you just need to place it in and close it with this um so um close it with this and um that's about it for accessories okay now the articulation hang on a second i just need to attach the arms first 
on the skeleton. Now, I'm going to use the skeleton arm version because it has much more articulation. And at least for the arms. Now, first up, I'm going to go on for the head. And the tail. Now, for skeleton, um, it's not super articulated. Like, it's probably just the jaw and nothing else moves. You're wrong. Does the jaw is plugged in on a hinge or I don't know open about that far long. It could open about that far. And when you pop off the head it could probably move much more further. Way 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 further. So as you can see here he Okay, that's, he's kind of creepy. The hair is plugged in on a hinge shrivel. Now, the hinge shrivel is okay, but um, you need to assemble everything. Starting with the jaw, then you have to assemble the head, the neck, the arms, and there, here, and there. All of these pieces that have joints are, well, is um, separated. So, you need to sort of get, like, detach and you need to be smart to attach this figure now the hair is plugged in on a hinge shrivel now even without the neck you could still look super down super up that really depending on what pose you're gonna do with the neck it could be looking fully up or not now the neck is super long so as you can so you probably figure oh there's joint here maybe some joint here and one joint here no there's just a neck joint so you could move it up like that so if you want to set it in like a brachiosaurus long neck pose you could definitely do that or you could just do this which is probably what you're gonna do unless if you're gonna do like a slashing in pose like this hang on a second i just need a more so, I guess that's what you're going to do. Now, again, the arms are plugged in on hinge shrivels. But the head, the neck, the arms are not plugged in on hinge shrivels. As I just show you with the arms, let's see if I could pop one of them off. There is a hinge joint, like that, as you can see here. And then where, where you plugged it, there's a swivel, there's a peg here that is like painted like a, like sculpted like a circle. And the hinge is a separated joint. And the hinge, the arm, okay, I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm going to get like a leg trouble here. Oh, here we go. Thank Now, the app crunch here, it's not really a joint for me because, well... When you just saw it earlier, yeah. So you just need to attach the waist in, and then there's a sort of a rotation here, but yeah. Now, again, now how you attach the arm is that when you attach it, you need to attach it either on the DNA or the skeleton. Now, the way that you do is that, well, you just take the arms in these two holes, and then all you need to do is that there's just a little, like, here, like a, um, spike, or the button. That's how you do the feature. Now, uh, um, the button goes up like this. Okay? Oh, maybe I got it upside down. Hang on a second. like that the button goes up like that or you could just attach it like this you need to now what's really cool about this skeleton on that the um dna on doesn't have is that this is much more sturdy when you attach the dna on it's very very loose now the way it says plug in on swivel as i just told you but keep in mind that mine is very very loose and it doesn't want to snap in no, it doesn't snap in at all. Why you mean? Well, here's the issue. Mine, the waist, it's just getting in the peg like that. And it just stays like that. It doesn't have any clicking or anything. 
even as strong as I try, I still can get that wasted due um like any type of posing. That is not loose, but man, I can actually do it. Wow, that's simple. And that's kind of tight. Tight drawing. Now, if you're smart enough and you can, it will hold on, but for me, I had to really twist and turn that and tell this final result I just show you. Now, Here's the final look. Now, the legs. I'm just gonna show you this one leg. Um, the leg is plugged in on sort of a type of a hinge swivel again. Same thing with the arms and the other joints. They could move like that, in and out on a hinge. And then there is a swivel. Well, there's a pick again. And then there's says a hinge swivel knee. Now. I'm having comp I'm having an issue with the knee. It just doesn't look like so. Put in the comments how you attach the hinge. Does the hinge go to the side like this, or like this, or maybe even to the back like this? But for me, the most accurate way to me is like this. Now the other leg, the hinge doesn't want to work. Like the hinge just stuck like there, and it doesn't want to hinge. So, but when you're getting it into, so when you try to attach it into mine, it's just one of swivels. That's it. Now, you could do like a split if you want, but if you want to say it in like a hunting pose, which I actually kind of want to try that, eh, doesn't really work. Now, again, same thing. There's a hinge swivel here. Now, I forgot to tell you that at the um, ankles, there is a hinge swivel. Moves very good and smooth. <clears throat> Just get rid of that. Now, at the base of the tail, or right here, right here, like in this, in this part of the leg skeleton, like in this upper sleeve portion as you can see here right here there's a hinge swivel which allows you to move but hang on a second the legs are plugged in on heel not on the um waist area like in the main body area no it's plugged in on the tail ish area which i'm okay with that but still could be a little bit better engineering there that they put now, when you attach it in, it's kind of hard, but once you do, you can have a nice wrap. Now, you could spin it full 360, right? Not really. Um, because of the design of these, you can sort of swivel it, but not too, too much. The hinge works absolutely perfect. No complaints at all. No blocking movement. Now, at the mid portion of the tail there is a hinge again same thing and a swivel now put in the comments if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure the tail goes down like that but the spine here it's meant to go to like to the sides i mean like pow now you could move it up and down a little bit oh wait no the it's correct now moving up and down it's kind of sort of stiffing the joints lowly now when you pose it up like this you're gonna have like a hint to the side and that's kind of odd because the tail is posed up not to the side now when you pose it to the side it's kind of a little bit more better because well you could do that like this but when it comes to moving up and to the side, it's kind of sort of hard. Now, overall, aside from that one leg issue and the waist joint, I actually digging this figure. Um, so, and this part. Now, if you want to mix and match it like this, you can if you want. And if you and if you want it, so good luck. Now, attaching the waist is very easy. But 
moving the legs online. The other one, this one, <sighs> that kind of sucks. Now, overall, it's okay. Now, the details, it reminds me of a real skeleton, which is kind of creepy. Yeah. Now, look, I'll just attach this in, like this. And we're just going to do the details quickly, because I don't want to review this figure anymore. So, let's just try it. Now after, hang on a second, let me pause the video. I tried to get the toy together, but it just won't fit. So that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Oh, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.